Let's see how to set up an XDI Multi using the standard Azimuth library. In this example the ship has one Azimuth thruster and the XDI will be installed on the bridge. The XDIs will show both the Azimuth angle and RPM. The XDIs are connected together with CAN bus using XDI net to share data. A CAN transmitter is mounted on the Azimuth and the value is transmitted via CAN bus to all the XDIs. The XDI has two analog AX1 modules fitted. An RPM transducer is connected to the first analog module and the XDI transmits the RPM data to all the other XDIs over XDI net. A dimmer is also connected to the first analog module and the value transmitted again over XDI net to all the XDIs in the same dimmer group. The azimuth setpoint value is connected to the first analog module and the RPM setpoint to the second analog module. Both of these are also transmitted over XDI net to all the XDIs. When you first power the XDI, the setup wizard is shown, but let us first start by removing the frame so we can access the buttons. This first screen shows you the library that is installed. You can also rotate the display 180 degrees if necessary. Select OK to continue the wizard. You must now select the CAN node ID for the unit and you can use up and down to go through the list. And in our case we will be configuring this XDI as CAN node ID number 2. We recommend that you write the CAN node ID on the label provided. Select OK to confirm. The product profile selection page is now shown. Here you can select between the different product profiles. Information for the selected profile is shown on the left. This can include product related settings, for example how the dimmer is configured. Use up and down to select between the different product profiles. And in our case we will be using product profile number 2, analog. Select OK to confirm. The list of virtual indicators in the standard azimuth library is now shown. Scroll up and down to view the different virtual indicators. The wheel mark next to the indicator shows that it is MED approved. In our example we will select virtual indicator number 1, azimuth pushing forward. This indicator shows azimuth angle and RPM. Select OK to confirm. The virtual indicator setup profile is now shown. This is where you select your input sources. The setup profile also contains preset parameters for scaling, labels, units and more. Use up and down to select between the different setups. Information for the selected setup is shown on the left. In our case we will use VS3 CAN Analog. This requires AX1 modules in both slots 1 and 2. In slot 1 this is for the azimuth setpoint and the RPM value from the transducer. In slot 2 this is for the RPM setpoint. Select OK to confirm the setting. The setup wizard is now complete. You can, if needed, open the installation menu to fine tune parameter setup. Or you can use the user menu to change dimmer or audio settings. Or if needed, to reselect the product profile or virtual indicator by using restart wizard. In our case we are happy with the configuration and we will simply select finish wizard. Your XDI is now ready for operation. Finally replace the frame on your XDI.